Assalamu alaikum. Today we're going to talk about calculating probability. So, uh, calculating probability is pretty simple. Let's say that we have a sample set for uh, a random uh, experiment, like throwing a dice. So, the probability will equal, we have the sample set, let's name it P, and it will have elements ranging from 1 to 6. So, these are our possibilities. One of these numbers to appear if the dice was thrown once. And let's say that we have an event A, which uh, is the probability of the appearance of an even number. So that would be 2, 4, and 6. 2, 4, and 6. And then we have the event B, which is uh, the probability of the appearance of a number which is divisible by 4. So the only number which is divisible by 4 here is 4. So we just have one uh, probability. So these are two events that we have. Now, when I say I want to calculate the probability of the event A, PA will equal what we do is that we sum these, um, the number of these probabilities, which is 3. So we have 3 here. And then we divide it by the total number of probabilities in the sample set. So 3 divided by 6 is half. This means that 50% of the time, this event can occur. Because it represents 50% of the probabilities, 3 out of 6. For this event, B, the probability will be 1 over 6 because it represents just one probability out of the 6 probabilities. So this is how to calculate uh, the probability. It's that simple. Now let's have another example. If a coin is tossed twice our sample set will look like this. We have a chance of the appearance of a head first, then a tail, or two heads, or two tails, or a tail first, then a head. So this is the sample set. And then we have this event A, and A is the event of the appearance of at least at least one head. So we have this one and two heads of course and a tail then a head. And this one would be excluded because it doesn't have at least one head. There are two tails. Then B is the opposite. The probability of the appearance of at least one tail. So again we'll have this and here are two tails, and a tail, and a head. So these are our two events. And we want to calculate the probability of A, the probability of B, and the probability of A cross B, or A intersection B, and the probability of A union B. So first, the probability of A. Probability of A, as we said, we have your 3, so 3 divided by 4, so 75% of the uh, probability goes to A. This means that 75% of the time, this event can occur. For B, again, 3 divided by 4, so P, B equals 3 divided by 4. Again, 75% of the time. Now, P, uh, or the probability of A intersection B. A intersection B are these two elements here. They are uh, repeated. So we have two elements 
that occur in A and occur in B. So 2 divided by 4 is half. So this event represents 50% probability. Half of the time this event can occur. Let's go to the other one, which is A union B. A union B. If we sum up all the uh, possibilities of both events together, we'll find out that there are six. But they're not six because we have two elements here repeated. So what we do is that we say that B, uh, A union B equals, it equals A plus B minus A intersection B, A intersection B so that we do not repeat these elements which are common in both events so we get a total of 6 minus 2 gives us 4 if we look at the possibilities and sum them up we have 1, 2, 3 and 4 and we do not count these once again so 4 so here we have 4 divided by 4 which is a hundred percent a 1 so a hundred percent all the time all the time this event has the possibility or the probability to occur so that was how to calculate the probability next time we'll have more examples I hope it was easy and until the next time I thank you for watching and see you